little bit more traction. I have no idea. All right, we got a um, we got a couple of packs already prepped for this team associated DR10 no prep. We got a uh, 2S pack. It's gonna be the first one to go in. This is an HRB 5000. 50C, and then obviously right here, this is an Ovonic Air, which I've been very surprised with these batteries. This is a 8,000 milliamp pack, 3S at 50C, and yeah, of course, this one's going to be a little bit heavier, but it's going to also provide a little bit more power, maybe a little bit more weight to the ground. After seeing Earl Moorhead's video, to be honest with you, Nah, uh, I'm unimpressed. I'm kind of unimpressed, so I do have to see for myself, and yeah. So, let's just toss a battery in this thing. I already got the batteries in the remote. Let's throw a 2S pack in this DR10. Take it out to the RC, RC Guy, Guy Garage, Garage Dragway, Dragway, or Drag Strip, and uh, we'll see if the thing even launches straight. I don't know. We'll check it out. Hopefully, the uh, sun had a chance to dry the pavement. I am liking... I know this is kind of crazy. I am liking the styling more and more. Um... It like like we've already said this is you know 100 percent this is this is a Mopar and how did I already lose a body clip? Are you kidding me? I already lost a body clip. You gotta be kidding. Me. All right, well whatever. Don't forget uh, COVID and coffee. So like I said, I'm gonna toss this pack in first. And one of the crazy things that I actually wanna do to this, which to some people probably doesn't make sense, I wanna put the hood pins with tethers right where they should be. And see those screws right there that hold obviously this front section of the body on, or front, uh, the grill or whatever? Um, I think the tethers could actually screw right into those areas. And if I can somehow make it so that I can have body pins up front, um, I definitely think that would be, I think that would be cool because sometimes it literally is in the details, you know? I mean, at least that's what I appreciate. So, and I know these colors don't go, but it's just, that's just what I want to do. So we've got our plum crazy body pins front and back. So we're going to take this DR10. We're going to give it a couple of uh, no prep uh, test hits just to see what it does. I'm going to bring out a 3S pack. You already saw that, so let's just get out there and rip it. All right. We are now outside with the Team Associated DR10. No prep, DR10. It already needs to be trimmed. So, steering trim. I'm just gonna give it a couple of just passes right here, just to check its straightness. Now that kinda has the sound. I really don't like the fact that my body is Totally lopsided. I actually don't like that. That kind of is annoying. But that's just a personal opinion. I do have my dual rate turned down, which limits my steering, but it also will hopefully change maybe the way the car reacts. So we're going to GoPro on. GoPro on. And we're just going to give it a launch just to see what happens. All right, so mine did go a little bit to the right, which is fine, but the launch itself seems all right. See, the way this, the way this is looking, it's just driving me nuts. Look at it, it's tipped so bad. Come right up to the starting line right here. Do it again. We'll get behind it. We'll make sure that the car is actually set straight. And we'll give it a launch in three, two, one, rip. So mine is actually launching fairly straight. Um, this is on 2S. It is cold tires. I do see that my trim is still a little off. It does have the wobble, so there goes the wobble. But the wobble is just... Um, so far, the wobble was just coming back. 
It seemed like drive-wise, it seemed like it was all right. So we'll put it right there. We're just gonna give it, we're gonna give it that rip right from here. Give it a launch. Hooks and it actually straightens out. I don't know if I actually straighten that out though. So on very light steering, mine actually does give a little wobble, but it's nothing, it's nothing bad. Maybe turning the dual rate down helped this car. Now remember, these are cold launches. So let's see what it does. Still hooks to the right a little bit. My steering trim is off, watch. See how it's doing the wobble? The wobble, it's only doing the wobble when I'm trying to steer it. I do feel like because my dual rate is down, maybe that's helping. So it is, did I say it's turning to the right? I can't remember now. Something sounds funky with my pinion. The steering trim, ooh, the steering trim is ultra sensitive. Let's give it another launch. All right, so it did hook it did definitely hook to that right. <laughs> it's actually a drag car too. It's got a wheelie bar and everything. Right. Yeah. Looks like a Mopar, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It looks like a Challenger or a Barracuda. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it moves. Now it's just on 2S. Um, it definitely has more of a tendency to want to hook and go to the right. We're just going to give it one more shot. It's actually hooking up pretty good um, as is without doing a burnout. So it's not bad. It, it's got. It definitely has a good roll to it. So. We may have to check out, make sure the thing is fully uh, planted. Definitely hooked better. And it's still wanting to go to that right. So I'm only seeming to get that uh, speed wobble very, very minimal. If you saw Earl Moorhead's, his was just like, his whole vehicle was wasted on the box. Give it a rip. Oh, definitely hooked. So that was a much better takeoff on that one right there. I still don't like the fact that the body is just jacked. So I definitely, I have to fix that because that's going to drive me insane. Um, yeah, 
You know what? Because I did pick it up, my gyro actually is working. So I don't know if you can see that. So my gyro is working. It might be the fact that beforehand, I, I knew to turn the dual rate down, and I'm sure Earl knows that himself, but that might not be something that somebody knows right out of the box, so who knows? Maybe, maybe mine's not having an issue just because I turned the dual rate down, I don't know. So now you can see we've got the uh, Ovonic Air 8050C pack in there. And I definitely am going to be unplugging those motor wires and moving them. I think I want to move them into that center hole location because where they are located right now, I, I don't like it. It's For me, it's wrong. It actually needs to go through that center hole, if you focus on it. It needs to go through that center hole right there. And that way the wires are kind of out of the way. So let's uh, just plug this in and give it a couple of rips. I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe it's my plum crazy purple clips. Maybe that's why my Mopar is ripping it. So we are running on 3S right now. Let's just give it a shot. Probably not gonna make the turn in my driveway. Yeah, I don't wanna get the tires nasty. I don't like the way the pinion's sounding. So the pinion to the spur mesh kind of sounds a little funky. Might have to check that out. So I'm gonna give it a cold rip on 3S first, just to see what it does. I'm going to get a straight back launch like this, just to see, um, I don't know. I just want to see what this thing is going to be like, just on a straight line. 3S. Three, two, one. All right. Definitely, definitely hooks way to the right. So on 3S, we're definitely going to need to burn those tires up a little bit. So let's give it a uh, let's give it a 3S burn. Maybe get rid of that piece of glass. So 3S burn. It's about right. Rip it. Definitely hooks, um, and that gyro definitely wanted to. Uh, it definitely wanted to give it some <laughs> some adjustment. So I did actually grab the stick. It's just by habit. I'm afraid to give it a launch and just allow the gyro to do the work itself. That's not what I want to do anyway. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm actually going to bring the car over to the left side lane, give it a burn, give it a rip. Give it a rip. Oh, all right. <laughs> definitely comes alive and the gyro, you saw it, it's definitely with the speed of the vehicle. Um, so we might have something that's out of adjustment. It might be like toe of the front wheels. It might be something with the rear end. I'm not sure. I'm gonna give it another burn because it definitely likes it. A burn on 3S. Give it a rip. All right, so that was much better. And I'm going to bring the car in and tell you exactly why that was better. Now, you shouldn't be, on the return trip anyway, you shouldn't be, um, you shouldn't be full throttle anyway. You want to just return your trip, treat it like a regular drag race vehicle. I mean, I feel like that's kind of what you have to do. I gave it some pre-left turn. So I actually had the front wheels slightly cocked to the left because obviously in its current configuration it's wanting to hook to that right side so i counteracted or i counter steered it myself in the beginning just to make it so that it was maybe more manageable 
But I will tell you right now, from mine, out of the box, I'm actually uh, pretty pleased. You know what? It actually looks like, it looks like a good So I just got a nice shot of it. It actually looks pretty good. Give it a rip. <laughs> oh, that is nuts. All right. <laughs> Definitely comes alive, and the gyro, you saw it, it's definitely with the speed of the vehicle. 